It's such terrors. So, I feel like y'all are really powerful right now. Or you're going to be coming into a lot of power in April. So, when I was shuffling, I saw there's a lot of kings. And it just felt like you were embodying all of these kings. I don't know why. But that's what I got from that. Shit. And I get a spread for Sagittarius in April. Yeah, strength. You are powerful and strong, let me tell you. If you are not right now, you will be. But I feel like you're feeling it now. Or you're starting to feel it. Eight of Cups. Yeah, maybe you walked away from something. Maybe you need strength to walk away from something. It could be a Pisces or a Cancer. Maybe an Aquarius. Okay. Can I have more messages for Sagittarius? Okay, I'll take this one. Shit. Yeah, five of cups in reverse. You're no longer feeling this way. Now you're starting off the month straight up with strength. Yeah, king of swords. You very are willing. If something is not serving you, you will cut it off immediately. <laughs> like, it's like a lesson learned, you feel me? Oh, damn. Okay. Queen of Swords. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius. But I'm also getting that you have mental strength now. Four of Swords. This one did come out a couple times. Um, I think you're just resting. I think you're just chilling right now. Building your strength up. For sure. Yeah, Empress. Focusing on yourself. Um, hold shit. Focusing on yourself, focus on, or focusing on your abundance. Y'all want to talk, your spread comes up real fast. Yeah, three of pentacles, you're focused on your abundance, you're focused on your work, you're focused on yourself. And you are cutting out absolutely anything that does not serve you in the slightest. For sure. Okay. Can I get one more card for Sagittarius? Okay, where's can I get one more card for Sag? Okay. Page of Swords. Now, this could all be due to have, getting some bad news, or maybe you gave some bad news. Could be news about a child, but... Yeah, the Five of Cups in reverse. I feel like this already happened. I feel like you're definitely coming out of this energy. And you're coming out with complete strength. Physical and mental, just strong. Okay, so the strength card clarified, or the, the king, blah, 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 shit. The queen of swords clarified the strength card, so yeah, you have the queen of swords twice in here, so definitely could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could, you could have cut off a Leo or a Taurus. It doesn't have to be, it could be any sign, Pisces. But, um, yeah. But I'm getting just mental strength. I feel like you have mental strength about something. I don't know, but you're definitely embodying a king-like energy for sure, for sure. What's the Eight of Cups? Okay, yeah, so you walked away. Oh, hello. You walked away from a stalemate, or you walked away from uncertainty. You walked away from just being unsure about something. Maybe being unsure about yourself. You walked away from that. That energy, for sure. Okay, clarify the Five of Cups in reverse. That's five of cups in the reverse for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Two of Wands. Okay, so you walked away, or you were feeling down about a partnership, but not anymore. Maybe you were confused about it, or confused about which path to take, maybe. But you're definitely getting the mental clarity with the Queen of Swords twice and the King of Swords. So yeah, definitely for sure, for sure. Um, let's see. Clarify the... Okay, let me just take this one. Okay. So yeah, clarifying the King of Swords, you have the Hermit. Could have cut out a Virgo. But I just think you cut out... It's just kind of the same message for me. You cut out not being sure of yourself. And now you're very confident. Yeah, and you're happy with the sun card at the bottom. Okay, then. 
Sorry about the Queen of Swords. What's the Queen of Swords? Yeah, Five of Cups. So you cut out that same shit. You cut out that bullshit. You got the Five of Cups twice here, so you cut it out. You just cut out feeling down on yourself, I feel like, or feeling down in general. You're just resting, chilling, taking care of yourself. Plus the Four of Swords. Okay. Yeah. Four of Swords, uh, the King of Pentacles. So. Could have been a Virgo. Maybe you're chilling on a Virgo. Maybe you're just like done with it, chilling. Or you're just focused on you, especially with the Three of Pentacles here. You're just focused on your finances, focused on your abundance with the Empress. Just focused. And I just feel like, yeah, Ten of Swords, I keep holding this up. You're done with negative thoughts. I think you're just done being negative. Maybe you were negative for a little bit. Which Sagittarius is so unlike you. So I definitely feel like you're definitely just coming back to yourself. Coming back to your own energy. Let's make sure. Clarify the King of Pentacles with the Four of Swords. That's the King of Pentacles with the Four of Swords for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Page of Swords. Yeah, you could have got a bad news about like, a possible connection that you had. Um, given Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <laughs> Yeah, you could have got some bad news about it, and you cut it off. Could go vice versa, but you cut it off. Mm -hmm. Well, damn, yeah, you have Page of Swords twice, so yeah, for sure. This was some news. Let's figure out what that was. Um, yeah. Clarify the Empress. What's the Empress for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's okay. All right, well, maybe you got some news that somebody got what they deserved justice card and magician could have been dealing with a um with a gemini or a libra but hmm. or this is you you deserve i think you just you deserve this abundance the buttons you're getting you deserve it you just that's your karma like and you're on the good side i feel like So yeah, you could be embodying this magician energy, manifesting what you want, and you feel it, so that's why you're working really hard with the Three of Pentacles. You feel this energy that you're manifesting. Like, for sure, this is good. I don't see that. I like that. All right. What's the Three of Pentacles for Sagittarius? Okay. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. If you're single or you currently... Have just became single you are very abundant the nine of pentacles and the seven of pentacles what you're working on is growing or by the middle or the end of april you're going to see your work growing maybe you have your own business yeah king of pentacles and the king of swords definitely could have your own business for sure or you just make a lot of money you have opportunities to make a lot of money and you're working really hard on that and you are Okay, so what's the Page of Swords? Where's what's the Page of Swords? The Sun, okay. You could have got news, maybe just within yourself, that something was making you unhappy. Or you could have got news about a Leo, if you were dealing with Leo. Not so good news, the Page of Swords, but it's always the truthful news, so it's always the truth. Okay, so yeah. Or maybe, maybe you haven't got this news yet. Let me get more clarification on that. What's the page of swords with the sun? Universe, what? You know, I'm going to take these. Okay. You got news that the relationship was toxic. With the two of cups and the devil. Yeah. But you cut it out like it was nothing. Like you got all these swords here. You, yeah, okay. Or maybe you haven't got this news yet. And if this resonates, maybe I just gave you that news. But yeah, you're going to get news that this relationship is toxic. Or if you already have, you cut it off. But you're going to, if you haven't got this news yet, you're going to cut it off. You're going to be very abundant. You're going to go right into working on work manifesting the empress energy and manifest abundance like yeah 
this is your karma, but you are on the good side. Just want you to know that. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. But at the beginning here, you are walking away. Like you're walking away from the energy first. And then I think with the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, you walk away from the person. Oh, yeah, let me get some advice for you. I don't know if you need the advice because you're, you are doing it. You are doing, you're going to take care of it and quickly. Like, look how fast this reading came out for you. You are going to take care of it quickly. So. Okay. However, font. Yeah, if somebody or something is telling you to do something, listen to yourself. Because it's the best it's for your most, the good. It's for the highest good for you here. For the higher fine. It's the wisest decision, I would say. Yeah, hanged man. You need to see this from a different perspective if you haven't already. So can I get more advice for Sagittarius for April 1st to the 15th? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Seven of fire. Okay, yeah, stand your ground. Whatever you're thinking or whatever is going, yeah, I'm going to say thinking because it's a swords three of air. Whatever you're thinking, stand your ground. You're right. Especially with the higher body. You're right. You're wise. You know what you're talking about. Stand your ground. If, it's, if you're telling yourself you need to cut it off, cut it off. Like, if you're telling yourself something otherwise, do it. But all I know is this connection is toxic. But... They were a soulmate for you because karma is here. Justice is here. So, yeah, this lesson needed to be learned for you to move forward and have this abundance. And have this happiness. So, yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, I hope this reading was a good one for you. And I hope it was helpful. And have a good April.